Sophia, the first story, the best Disney story for kids. Today we have a book named Sophia, the first story, a Disney story for children. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. It used to be just Sophia and her mom. But then, her mom married King Roland. Now, Sophia's mom is the Queen of Enchantia, and Sophia is the princess. The trouble is, Sophia doesn't really know anything about being a princess. She never had to do a royal wave. She's not sure when to curtsy, or even which fork to use at dinner. I'll never be as perfect a princess as my new step, Sister Amber, Sophia said. Just be yourself and you'll be fine, her mom said. Sophia is not sure that will work. How can I be myself and be a princess at the same time, she asked. King Roland, her new dad, tries to help. He gives Sophia a beautiful necklace called the Amulet of Avatar. Her dad says, It's a welcome to the family gift and that lots of princesses before her have worn it. Then he tells they're having a royal ball in her honor. They have to dance the first waltz together. That's another thing she doesn't know how to do the dance. Read more about Princess Sophia. Maybe there will be a dance class in my new school, Royal Prep Academy, Sophia says. The headmistresses are three fairies named Flora, Fauna, and Meriwether. They promise to teach her everything about being a princess. Hooray! I do have a dance class, Sophia says. Amber lends Sophia a new pair of shoes. I think she's starting to like me, Sophia says to herself. Oh no, Amber tricked me, Sophia says. The shoes are under a magic spell. The whole class laughs at Sophia. But even worse, Sophia still doesn't know how to waltz and the ball is tonight. Then, Sophia remembers Cedric, the sorcerer at the castle. James. Her stepbrother says, Cedric has all sorts of magic spells. Sophia asks Cedric to help. He writes down some magic words. He says if Sophia recites them at the ball, she'll be able to waltz like a real princess. All hail Princess Sophia, says Bailiwick as Sophia enters the ballroom. Shall we dance? the king asks. Sophia recites Cedric's magic words, Somnibus Populus Sella, but she doesn't start to dance. Instead, everyone at the ball falls asleep, even Cedric. Oh no! What have I done? Help! Sophia cried. Suddenly, her amulet glows and Cinderella appears. Your amulet brought me here. When a princess is in trouble, another will come to help, she tells Sophia. Can you reverse the spell, Cinderella? Sophia asked. No, I can't, but your new sister might be able to help, says Cinderella. But Amber's mean so mean to me, tells Sophia. Princess Cinderella knows what it's like to have mean stepsisters. I wish I had given stepsisters a second chance. Perhaps that's what Amber needs, she says. Then... She disappears. Amber is still in her room. She never made it to the ball. Amber finally tells Sophia why she's been acting so mean. I was worried that everyone would like you more than me, she says sadly. No one could ever be as perfect a princess as you, Amber, Sophia says. Sophia tells Amber about Cedric's magic spell. They searched his workshop and find a spell that will wake everyone up. Then they hurry to the ballroom. Wait, I owe you a dance lesson, Amber says. 
Now Sophia knows they are true sisters and ever after friends. When Sophia gets to the ballroom, she says the magic words and everyone wake up. Then the king and Sophia begin to walk. Sophia looks over at Amber and smiles. I can't believe how happy I'm. I think I'm going to fit into this royal family after all, Sophia says to herself. Sophia, I'm so proud of you. You dance wonderfully, her dad says. Thank you, your majesty. I mean, dad, Sophia says. You know, Sophia, being a princess is about having a good heart, and you are going to make a great princess, says her dad. Dad, I've been wondering, why do they call you King Roland II, she asks. Because my father also named Roland, he tells her. Well, I guess that makes me Sophia the first, and she is one princess who can't wait to see what happens tomorrow and all the days happily ever after. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.